Brave is the latest and greatest in privacy-minded web browsing, but does it live up to the hype? Well, today I'm sharing with you my experience using Brave Browser after exactly one week of using it. Hello everyone, it's Real Tough Candy from realtoughcandy.io popping back on for another review with you. Today we are looking at the Brave browser. Now for the past, I don't know, I want to say like eight months to a year, people have been saying RTC crossover, check out Brave browser, it's really cool. And I always had an excuse, like it was too much work, I didn't want to learn a new interface. And because I had saved so much of my personal info on Chrome and Safari with like passwords and bookmarks and even my extensions, I just didn't want to do all the work. And really it's not, but you know what I mean. I just, it just felt overwhelming. So I said no. Finally, last week I took the plunge and today I'm going to share my thoughts on Brave and why it is now my primary browser. Let me give you a quick and brief history of my browser usage. Now, I'm actually one of the few people who enjoy desktop Safari. I'm like one of 50 in the entire world, but I really like its password manager and it generates these really robust passwords for you whenever you're setting up an account or something. It's so convenient and it's so security minded. I just loved it. And things were going great in Safari until one day everything just stopped working like this was like a year and a half or two years ago where I said I have to get a new browser like Safari just isn't working on the web so then I said okay I'll give Firefox a try it has some really great dev tools the thing I don't like about it is that it didn't have a pinch to zoom and when I say pinch to zoom it's basically just a finger movement on your trackpad where you can quickly zoom and I do that multiple times a day when I'm on this laptop it was only today November 18th where Firefox decided we're gonna have this pinch zooming feature. So Firefox was off the table. And I know some people are going to be like, that is so petty. You stopped using Firefox just for that. You don't understand. I had to have this. The other two browsers I had at the time were Chrome and Tor. Now Tor is great, but for everyday purposes, it's a little too much for me. And so I stuck with Chrome. I've been using Chrome for quite a while. It is a total memory hog. It's produced by Google. So not the most privacy minded browser, but I wasn't really left with any choice. <laughs> Now, first things first, this browser is built on Chromium, which is an open source browser project. It's the same thing that Chrome is built on. So the UI is just non-cerebral. I don't have to think about it because it's pretty much the exact same thing. And then much to my surprise, my pleasant surprise, you can actually import your bookmarks and settings from your different browsers. So my options here are Safari, Firefox, and Chrome, and I can import all three if I'd like, but watch this, it gets better. So Chrome person one, and I can choose, okay, do I want browsing history, bookmarks, save passwords, extensions, and payment methods, all those things I imported with just one click. It was totally streamlined, and now I have everything on here that I relied on when I was browsing with Chrome and Safari. This was sparking joy at this point. I was pretty impressed. So once I started using Brave for my day-to-day -day tasks, you know, going to Disney, or checking in on YouTube and stuff, I immediately noticed a speed difference. It was lightning fast compared to Chrome. And I was like, whoa, they do claim on their feature site that the pages load three to six times faster. But you know, it's a hype page, people can say anything, whatever. But I'm just saying when I started using it, and even now, it's blazing fast. And a big part of that is because Brave has this built in ad blocker and tracking blocker. And it has some granular controls down here, but you can go down the list and just adjust just as you need. I will say this though, as a creator myself, I do know how important ads are for a lot of bloggers, for most people doing blogs and for YouTubers. So for a lot of blogs I go to regularly, I will just take these down. Now to be totally transparent, I'm also getting tracked by those ads and by other trackers on these sites. But again, as a creator myself, I know the ads are important. So I, I allow myself to be exposed to them. Now this leads me to the other huge feature of this browser. This browser has its own cryptocurrency. It's called BAT or Basic Attention 
token. Now, if I hit the Brave Rewards tab right here, I get all my options. So as you can see, this is on, now it's off, now it's on. I've opted in to this program. And so what that means is that every half hour, I see an ad served in the form of a push notification. It looks like this. They're really non-invasive. They work because every half hour, I'm like, oh, here's another ad. I actually see these ads. And by clicking the settings icon here, I can control how many ads I see in an hour. So right now I'm going to, I think two is a pretty fair amount. And for each ad I see, I earn crypto. So right now I've earned just over two basic attention tokens worth about 42 cents. And then I can take it even further because if sites or people are verified brave creators, I can tip them or I can turn on this auto contribute. So for example, if I go to my YouTube page right here and you see this little check mark, click on this right here and it says Real Tough Candy on YouTube is a brave verified creator. So I can actually send myself a tip if I wanted to. Now that's a totally optional thing. If you're not into crypto, you don't have to use this at all. You can just turn it off. You don't have to deal with it. You don't have to see those push notifications. But I think this is such a big feature of this browser that you can, as a consumer, be rewarded for engaging with ads or at least being exposed to ads. Uh, and it's a totally passive thing. And you can, again, set up how many ads you're interested in seeing in an hour. The one thing I haven't tested out yet is the dev tools, but because this is based on Chromium, I'm not expecting many any differences between Chrome, if any at all. Uh, so that is something that I just haven't checked out. There are other features that I haven't checked out on here, but all in all over the last seven days, I'm really impressed with this browser. I really like this browser. I like that it's open source. I like that it's fast. I like that it's based on Chromium. So the interface is really familiar coming from Chrome. And I absolutely love the import bookmarks and settings option. It really made the transition to this browser so much easier. And I also have been really enjoying the Brave Rewards program. Fun fact, the co-creator of this browser is the creator of JavaScript. He's also the co-founder of Mozilla. I'm sure there are bugs in this browser. I'm sure it's cryptocurrency is far from perfect, but all in all, I'm impressed. It was free to download right from their site, uh, whatever this is, brave.com. Uh, you can also check out the features, brave.com forward slash features. I'm a fangirl. I like it. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think of Brave. Do you like it? Is it too much hype? Let me know in the comments below. As always, thanks for watching. Hope you're having a great day and I'll see you in the next video.